Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another nail try on and review. I know I said I was going to do an OPI one next, but those ones I want to save for Halloween. I have some Halloween nail stickers coming in from Timu and they're not in yet, so I am going to wait and do this one by Kiss. It's their Jelly Color Fantasy Collection. So we're going to try this. These are glue on ones. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I have already prepared my nails by um, filing them, pushing my cuticles back, cutting my cuticles, so on and so forth. I just have to kind of wipe away the dust. The other thing that I did, since these are a ballet coffin shape, so they taper towards the top and I have fat chubby nails, I also took my file in filed my nails in as a at a taper to make a more narrow towards the top as well to make sure when I put the nail on that I don't have any nail my real nail poking out of the sides. These ones they're very pretty. Um they're like a purple you can't really tell the purple very well on camera. It's and it's translucent purple. The only thing is, is because this is not their acrylic uh, collection, is they are thinner. It's a lot thinner than the last ones I did by Dashing Diva, which means that typically they don't last as long. So we're going to see how they compare to the Dashing Diva and then eventually the OPI ones as well. So first things first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to take a gluten-free pad. I got this set from uh, Timu. Super cheap. I don't remember exactly how much I paid, but I don't think it was more than $2. And they work really well. So I'm going to put some alcohol on there and wipe around my nails and get all that dust from filing them out. The model ones nail prep dehydrator this came in with my model ones glue the one kind that you use with the uv lamp now with these i would not use that glue with that with these because what i found is any nail that's not those soft gel ones or a nail that's not see-through it has some kind of color through it the uv light does not penetrate it very well so the glue does not harden like it should and they fall off within days definitely would not suggest using uv glue with any store-bought press on glue on nails as long as they have any kind of color to them as long if they're transparent you can try it um, I still don't know that I would suggest it. I would suggest just getting the the shop soft gel ones or the ones they sell on Amazon specifically for that kind of glue. I'm going to go ahead and um, just to save some time, I'm going to go ahead and size these out. This does come with its own glue. Um, the Kiss glue is okay. Uh, it works Okay, and it's great, you know, to put in your purse and on the go. Sometimes it does leak, though, after you open it. It's not standing straight up. That's the one thing I don't like about these glue. It has gotten better over the years because now it's more of a twist top enclosure. But once you use the glue for the first time, it can leak. But I am going to reuse this Glamnetic glue um, that I used on the last set because I really did like how it held those on. Uh, even with the press on gel. I'm going to continue to use that one and see if I like it with these type. Now like with most nail sets, it comes with a cuticle pusher and a little file. We are going to use the little file. We don't need the cuticle pusher. Um, the only thing I would use it for is the pointy end if for some reason I overdid it with the glue a little bit and some of it came out the sides before it dried I would use this pointy end side to clean up around the edges any glue so and then this we'll use to file the tips once we get them on because they have 
that little manufacturing bump right there. So we'll need to file that once we get to March. So let me go through and size these and then I will be back to show you how I'm putting them in. I've got them all sized up and ready to go here to the sides. I always start with this hand because I am right hand dominant. Starting here. So this is the brush on glue. Again, it's the Glamnetic brush on glue. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush our coat onto my nail. And to the back of the fake nail here. You know about where I think the end of my real nail will come to on it. Hopefully by doing this, I won't have any bumpers since this is see-through to make it look all funky. Okay, so in at an angle to the back of my nail, down even and even pressure. So remember what I was saying about too much glue? So if you can see there there is too much glue so i'm gonna go in with that and actually i used the cute sign because that was more than i thought and then the pointer and clean that off real quick before it dries continue my even pressure until I feel like it is set and then move on to the next nail and then the next nail and then the next nail <laughs> until I have all 10 nails done. Okay, that's good. You can see here um, that not look like there are any bubbles so that is fantastic I feel like there is a pretty a good hold on there too so that's great the only other thing I'm going to do before I move on to the next nail is take this and quickly just file that tip Probably around the edges a little bit too because I don't I when I wear pump contacts I don't want to poke myself in the eye too much usually pretty good about it but sometimes I have those days you know what I'm saying and sometimes you have to look at the back side too to make sure it's even okay And take your, you know, lampy wipe that you used earlier and pop the tip of that off if you want to. All right, remove that. First hand done. I did make a couple.
couple of mistakes though. So let's get in here. So on these two nails, fortunately I got a little glue on my thumb here and when I pressed down it transferred onto the nail. So it's hard to see on camera um, but there is some glue on there which scuffed up the glossy finish. So it's an easy fix. I buffed the glue off a little bit with the finer side of the supplied um, nail file um, so it's still smooth texture and then I can just take a glossy top coat nail polish regular or the kind that you have to cure with the you know a lamp on top of it and I'll you know cover it actually might make these a little thicker too anyway so and I would do that on all the nails to make sure they all looked even in thickness um, but I did not they look really good um, I don't see any bubbles or anything on them uh, so let's continue and do the other hand is I'm definitely going to be putting a clear coat on top um, because I also got some glue on this one as well. The reason I don't have any air bubbles is because of the putting the coat of glue on the actual nail and the fake nail before putting it on and then you know really good even pressure when pressing it down. Um, also having a really good glue definitely helps out with that. Um, I really do like this glue so far. A couple of times I've used it, like they feel like they're on there good. So that is awesome. And I will check back in seven to 11 days, just like the last ones. We'll see how they held up, what they look like. Just off the bat, I can tell you, I like this design on these a lot better than the other ones. Just because, honestly, I don't think glazed donut is for me. But the other reason, too, is, again, with a uh, plain glue on, when you look to the side of my nail here, you see how much more flat that sits than up? You can, like, it's down. It looks like it's down in my cuticle. So it looks like it's coming out from my actual nail, and it looks more like a nail. Like, you know, close up. It's very hard to see where the end of that fake nail is. And that's how I like mine. That's why I push them down into an angle. Um, and that's also why really good prep on your nail nails before putting these on is crucial. Getting rid of the old cuticles cutting away the old cuticles really makes a difference when putting these on and making them look good. Right now I'm super happy with how these look. I just need to put on a clear coat. So I have a couple videos where I'm going to do some crafting with painting and drawing. Coming up I have to make mom for my uh, nephew's first homecoming. 
and uh, that is going to require lots of hot glue and stapling um, and I've never made one before so it could get interesting. We'll see how it goes and I will see you in about 7 to 11 days. Right, this is the update. We are 14 days in with wearing these and they are just now getting to the point where they're starting to lift to the point where it's time to take them off. This one I just bumped up against something. So, but you can see that, I mean they did really well. I did have to replace this one one time because I accidentally chipped it off. Sliced. <laughs> Uh, and broke it off somehow doing something but other than that these suckers didn't move they stayed on everything um, so that is awesome 14 days so what are the cons what are the pros the pros obviously are that they lasted a full two weeks without falling off without lifting to the point where you know they were getting stuck underneath my hair for you know ran them through my hair so that was they look i mean the color the jelly color did not come off it is still there so the that all still looks great the cons would be they started off in a coffin shape now they look almond and round from doing things so the sides wore off the other thing is they are very thin um, and because they are see-through when i Put my tinted moisturizer on this morning because they are starting to lift it got stuck underneath the lifting parts a little bit and you can kind of see it there I don't think you're gonna be able to see it though but even though I washed my hands and everything it still got stuck there and stayed it a little bit underneath so those are the cons overall I'm impressed honestly though I don't think if I didn't have a really good glue and hadn't prepped my nails really well beforehand, I don't think these would have lasted the full 14 days. But because I did take the time to do the thorough nail prep and I used the glue and, and put it on both the, my actual nail and the fake nail before putting it on, I think that made the real difference to make them last. So next I'm going to be taking these off and putting on a different set I'm going to finally do those OPI ones that have a black tip French manicure stay tuned for those and we'll see how well those do those also have a 14 day guarantee so we'll see what we can do hey it's me Heather just coming in here to thank you for watching again if you liked this video if you could give it a big thumbs up if you haven't yet if you could hit that subscribe button and share with a friend have a wonderful day bye bye